focusing on the skill and mental aspects because young skaters have to realize that that stuff takes time. You can't rush it. It's a process. And kids, if you're doing that, well done. Embrace it. It will pay you back. On the ice now, Matteo Rizzo coming off a, a win a couple of weeks ago at the Budapest Trophy. And he is the first Italian man to win a medal at the World Juniors and an ISU Grand Prix senior event. Let's see if he can keep the momentum going now from that Budapest win. start with his quad toe combo. He's a skater that gets into his music and into his knees, very consistent. Came down heavy on that toe, was not able to get the triple off. Not what he was looking for and not the way he was doing it in practice or warm up. Very slow. You can understand why. He's trying a quad loop. Not very many skaters take a lot of speed into this one. Good fight. Judges will have something to say about it at the end of it, but I enjoyed the guts that it takes. It's not a big, huge jump for him, so everything has to be perfect. He doesn't have a lot of room to correct anything. You can see the negative GOE on the quad loop. But I know how hard that was for him, and uh, you know, emotionally, I'm really excited. <laughs> Triple Axel in the last part of the program, so he accesses a little 10% bonus there. You're only allowed, you only get the bonus on one jump in the last half. Now it used to be you could do as many as you like, but they stopped that rule and put in a different one. I think it's better. I think the programs are more balanced when the jumps are spread out. You know, like I said, some of the rules in this part are designed to force the skaters to have entertaining programs. They subtly guide them in, in the way that they direct and maintain and choreograph their programs. Mateo never forgets his audience. He's always trying to involve them, not just the judges, but everybody around the arena as he's going. He's got great integrity with the performance aspect of the skating. Well, you know, in spite of those uh, technical difficulties at the beginning of the skate, you know, he really looked like he was enjoying himself out on the ice. Yeah, I, it, it, he gave me the feeling that I picked my music, I picked my look, like he had ownership of this yeah. program, especially the second half where he seemed to warm up to the change of music. He got a great score uh, on his step sequence, one of the better ones. And it's because he looks so natural doing it, like he's a dancer on the ice. Yeah, and he didn't let the mistake bother him. You know, sometimes when skaters make a mistake, their only thought in their head is, I mustn't make another one. But he yeah. didn't let any of the performance go. He, he actually got better and better as he went along. In the fall of 2020, he made a, a bold decision. He decided to, to change uh, training locations and coaches and now trains with uh, the man he has to fight sometimes to go to Worlds or Olympic Games, uh, Daniel Grasso. So they train side by side, which must be a, a different dynamic. We just heard from the great Elvis Stoika who said, you know, find your competition and get in his face. Like, you know, yeah, really. Okay. So maybe there's a good thing there. A little short in the rotation. You can see that quad loop, though, that snow that flies on the landing. There's always the toe pick making ice. But when you see white snow like that, that's a skid. And the triple axle is not one of the bigger ones in the competition, but because it's contained and controlled, he's usually quite consistent on it. But the highlight for him today was the second half of the program. Yeah, he 
he was just a little cautious into all of his jump elements today. Not quite enough speed. I think again, yes, he was slow. he's gone faster, but all three jump elements were a tiny bit tentative. So he'll be looking to have a little more aggression behind them as he moves along the season. His best uh, short program score this season, about 10 points below Cal Miura's score of 94.06. 10 points, it's about a quad toe. <laughs> a nice lead on quad toe. <laughs> And that will put him momentarily into second place. So the negative GOE, Carol, you, you taught that tracker box in the top left corner. Yeah. Yeah, so he got negative.